Hello, Facebook and YouTube. Um, Jeremy Channel 333 coming right back at you again. Um, I've been taking a little time trying to get used to a new work schedule and um, new days off and, and uh, figuring out a schedule I can do for you, the viewer, and my subscribers to the channel. And I'm thinking maybe Wednesdays. I wish I had a computer. I would put a um, a voting type of thing out there for you, if you will, especially the subscribers. But my apologies. It's been a while. Um, however, I know that you'd certainly understand. Um, I've gone through through it with some certain issues, and um, I know there's been. I think those who have been praying for me. And especially at Sabine Baptist Church, and uh, you know, between uh, the cancer, which I'm highly, I'm greatly blessed because it could be a lot worse. And I know the Lord has made things to make me where I'm able, and I, I, I thank the Lord, our Savior Jesus Christ, because I'm able. Um, I've really thought about a song about pleading the blood, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Um, I will be working as a future project and I will get that song out there to uh, the subscribers to, uh, to Jeremy Channel 333 and to you viewers in the near future. Uh, I've been really praying and thinking of pondering about doing my own music and my own song. So I may in the future, not the near future, but it will come soon. Um, I have, uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come at you with something that the Lord uh, blesses us with. And he, um, we seek him, He wisdom comes along with it. Um, he is the owner of wisdom, you know, he's the creator of wisdom. Uh, so I'm going to go to Proverbs, if you have your Holy Bibles. Proverbs um, chapter 8. I'm going to read it to you. <clears throat> Doth not wisdom cry and understanding put forth her voice? She standeth in, in the top of high places but the way in the places of the past. She crieth at the gates, at the entry of the city, at the coming in at the doors. Unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of man. O ye simple, understand wisdom, and ye fools, be ye of an understanding heart. Okay, ye is you for plural, not like just me or just you. It's me and you. And Becky Sue too. <laughs> it's plural for you, for old English. For those who want to understand what ye means, um, an understanding heart is to forgive, forget, and to move on. Um, there's many out there that don't know how to do this, but they don't know uh, the true God, one true living God, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, there's deceptions or a muck and are out there. Uh, Basically, anything popular or anybody popular, they have messages that are contrary um, that that um, have conflict with the word. You go outside of the word, so um, you can. I've you can. I've noticed there's hundreds and thousands of viewers who are quite interested in that, and they think that they put this way as simpletons, but it's not. Uh, you can pick this book, book up and learn something new every time you read. You can read the same passage and get new things from it. So it's, it's large and it's vast, and um, it is the truth. And um, it's fulfilled when Jesus came down to the cross. He fulfilled it. So um, make no mistakes about it. This is where you find God. You seek him out in the word. Now, God will work outside of the word with you. He certainly has with me, but ultimately you get inspired and you <laughs> you want to go to the word. That's what happened to me. I don't think everybody's situations are the same, but 
somehow it always comes back to to this and uh, this is where we get our strength and we get we learn to hear what the Lord has to say but having an understanding heart uh, instead of being judgmental and listening to what others say about a subject or a person or an individual that person um, instead they say well maybe I'll give this person a chance and you forgive them and you try to advance on with a relationship with the person, whether they be um, a husband or a wife or uh, a son or a daughter or a mother or a father. Uh, you know, you uh, learn to have an understanding heart. And um, I'm going to tell you from life experience, um, had I not forgiven certain people in my life, I wouldn't have great relationships I do with, with certain ones. And my life wouldn't be as fulfilling, in my opinion. But I listen to God and truth. And, um, you know, the, Lord, the Word says to honor thy mother and thy father, um, to love your brothers, your neighbors. And um, by applying what God says, uh, many great things follow it. So, uh, but it basically, that's what uh, having an understanding heart is. All right, we're going on to six. Here for what I will speak of excellent things, and the opening of my lips shall be right things. For my mouth shall speak truth, and wickedness is an abomination to my lips. All the words of my mouth are righteousness, and there is nothing forward and perverse in them. They are all plain to him that understandeth, and right to them that find knowledge. Now, finding knowledge, the Lord is saying, you know, um, go out there. Don't just listen to so and so. Read. Um, not only do you have the Holy Bible, but you also have many, many others, especially in the time of Jesus, that knew of the events. Um, Non-Christian, uh, worldly men who uh, were historians and kings, and uh, they were prominent, powerful governors prominent powerful positions and stuff that wrote books and um i think you'll find that there's more evidence of jesus christ and his disciples uh so basically you know gathering knowledge does nothing but strengthen your position and instead of listening to others by word of mouth or going traditionally uh you read and you get your options then you actually start to understand the truth better. And when these deceptions are running around, and so-and-so says, well, you know, now times it says life started in Ethiopia rather than in Persia or Iran or whatever, when many years people have always placed it in that area, which basically they take half-truths and they kind of spin it. And they like, well... It's this way now because this happened. Uh, I'll assure you that um, everything, uh, it doesn't just change on a dime like that. It's, it's been so for many thousands of years, and uh, I think you'll find 90% of the time there might be a 10% window there that uh, something might override something else that uh And another thing you got to look out for is wording. Um, however, like, you know, they can say we have findings in Ethiopia that uh, the seashell is 10,000 or 15,000 years old. I personally don't believe the earth is a, any more than 6,000 years old. And uh, I know that the carbon dating uh, is never fully accurate. They try to say it is. But, um, I think that uh, when you have carbon dating that it says it's hundreds of millions of years, I just, I'm sorry. I just, uh, I haven't, uh, I've seen where others have this, uh, there was a video from Trey Smith where he was showing where this farmer buried his um, cow or something <laughs> and they, they dug it up uh, and I can't remember who they were. Uh, they were 
historians or whatever you call those people that that um there's a title for those people that dig up bones and stuff dinosaur bones well anyways i don't know if it's a paleontologist <laughs> thank you lord um well any, whatever they, they go and they dig this up and the cow is not even 10 years old or something but yet they go back and say it's 10 million years instead so you just gotta watch these things, and and um, so when they say, well, the, the oldest findings in civilization civilization is here. Look what they're saying about it. You know, if they're comparing actual human findings and civilizations, where like in Persia and Iran, for instance, you know, in Iraq you had Babylon, and you had all these other old provinces and cities. That there were historical proofs of, and um, so that's that, and uh, so it's not, as a matter of fact, as they try to point it out in in uh, splitting these and splitting hairs, if you will, <laughs> you know, it's just not, uh, you know, there's a difference in the original civilization of the cities and proof that men and women lived there with a the civilization rather than finding remains of animals and uh, other things. So you just got to be careful about, and well, that's why I go about with knowledge. Uh, you know, you'll know these things if you expand your mind enough and you read enough. You see, they can't go and trick you because they read something clever and it sounds good, and then they just use that. But if you know actually know the truth history, I can go into many examples. Many people will look at um, the Constantine thing. Uh, forgive me, Lord. What was that? Uh, there was a gathering, and a lot of people want to think that that gathering was a, was the legitimate gathering uh, where they made decisions on what was in the Bible and all that. When in actual reality, uh, you had Polycarp who knew John the Divine and a lot of them early church fathers in uh the second century, um, John of Devon, they say many believe that he lived to 103 uh, AD, uh, but he certainly knew Polycarp, certainly knew him. But uh, there was actually before that actual event in 400 and some AD, there was actually an event that happened between two and 300 where they gathered, uh, and uh, there was only two that were in disagreement with the rest of them and there were hundreds of them there at the at the meeting if you will i think it was in greece and i wish i could remember the name of the event but uh this is what you get for re from reading if you wasn't a forgetful mind as mine is well anyway they all gathered there and um i can't remember who polycarp's apprentice was but uh, his apprentice was there, the, and you know that's not another person that knew of John the Divine, and they all understood how it was supposed to be interpreted, because some of them actually knew <laughs> the disciples, uh, like Polycarp and his apprentice. So, um, and they all believed that, and there's also scripture that backs it up. And, you know, if you go into John 14, Philip asked, uh, "Could you suffice to show us the Father?" And Jesus said, you've been with me all this time, Philip, in my walks. He said, I tell you, if you've seen me, you've seen God the Father. So he is one in three persons, the Trinity. But he, yet he's one. A lot of people can't wrap their minds around it, but it's, heaven is different. <laughs> heaven is different, you know. Um, God's great glory is up there. And nothing's impossible with God. You know, you have God the Father, God the Son, the Word fulfilled. And God, the Holy Ghost, and the Holy Spirit. But they all three make one. So, you know, in the scripture it also said, um, even the demons know Jesus is God. <laughs> they flee from him. So, uh, there you have it. Uh, Jesus is God. Um, he came down lower than the angels so that he might fulfill the word and his truth. And he, he did indeed fulfill it at Calvary and at the cross. 
All right, now here we go. We're going to go on to nine. They are all plain to him that understandeth and write to them that find knowledge. Receive my instruction and not silver and knowledge rather than choice gold. For wisdom is better than rubies. All things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. I wisdom dwell with prudence and find out knowledge of witty inventions. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride and arrogancy and the evil way. And the froward mouth do I hate. Cantwell is mine and sound wisdom. I am understanding. I have strength. Be, I beg my pardon, by my king's reign and princes decree justice. By me, princes rule and nobles and even all the judges of the earth. I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. Um, I'm going to stop here, but those who seek him early, that is uh, something I take to heart. I try to get uh, to prayer before sun sunlight or break, daybreak, sunrise. Um, but I pray without ceasing. And, you know, uh, there you have it, you know, the Lord loves those who seek instruction and understand um, we need him and we are fragile, but with him, uh, he empowers us, you know, and with his great glory and love and his divine protection. How about that? Uh, do not be discouraged. Do not be dismayed. Uh, know that God is love and he is always faithful and always true. He said he'll never leave nor forsake us. And I believe every word that the Lord says. And unlike others, I follow this. And I don't just pick and choose uh, what, you know, what I think will work just solely for me. You know, um, you can't say, well, you know, he, he, this is in the scripture, like, like I, you know, he says, I'll never leave him or forsake you. Then turn around and say, well, you can lose your salvation. I don't mean to offend no one, but I'm sorry. Um, there's no nothing that verifies or backs that you a person may lose their salvation. Now, there is something that verifies that there's chastisement in Hebrews 13, but I've never found anything um, where, but I have found many scripture saying, the, quite the opposite, if you will. So that's why I encourage you to read. Read the Word. Don't uh, listen to what others have to say. It's, an, it's very important. But God bless each and every one of you. Um, I encourage you to pray over Jeremy Channel 333. I've, I certainly need it. And um, any of you, uh, I well, I can make this a promise. I haven't done this before. But I have actually prayed for some people I know who are um, subscribers, <laughs> but I, I could pray for all of you. Just say, I'll just tell the Lord I pray for the subscribers of Jeremy Channel 30, 333. But um, I'm going to sign off here. It's, it's certainly great to come back at you again. But like I said, I'm looking forward to maybe Wednesdays and Sundays as far as doing videos again for the channel. But I, I'm signing off.